Yo guys, I'm Fasty Rides and welcome along today where I'm going to show you how to get your audio from this and look at my shadow <laughs> to this Enjoy the views, I'll put some music over it Don't forget So if you do like this video guys then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button that massively helps Write a comment below, tell me what you want to see and subscribe if you're not subscribed then hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell too right so let's get stuck into this right so what I want to do is show you my setup at the moment and then I'll go into great detail of how to get the vault the, the audio quality to as I've just shown you the first thing that we've got to understand is is where the noise is coming from so on a helmet like this the noise could be coming from an open uh, visor or it could even be behind the head as you see mine's got a, a neck uh, curtain in the back which uh, stops any wind getting up in there and a chin curtain which is here those are the main things that stop the wind coming into my helmet and making all that noise now I'll show you where the microphone is fitted so as you can see my microphone here comes out of the cheek pad and sticks up there it has a sponge on it like that and it has a dead cat on now that microphone is for my uh, pack talk bold so this thing is one of the main important things to get good audio and a lot of people use the purple panda microphone which looks like this it's a lavalier mic but the problem with this microphone is that it's really sensitive and what you need is something that is not so sensitive so the microphone here cost me six pound off Amazon and it's perfect for the job because it doesn't pick up every little noise it isn't so sensitive because it's only a cheap microphone I think that cost me six pound or something like that I'll leave a link in the description and I'll actually show something on page here of what what it's called it's a hammer but it has it is on one of them stalks flexible stalks I just wrap mine up in the cheek pad and there it is that's how it sits there and it doesn't interfere with my vision or anything like that but it is the perfect mic for vlogging here is my old helmet HTC HJC Rafa 90 or Arthur 70 this is an Arthur 70 and I was getting a lot of wind noise in through the base so what I did is I made this chin curtain here because if I show you the chin curtain that's the chin curtain for this hel this helmet which you come standard which you can see just there and it just fits in with velcro and it was uh, not adequate to keep the wind noise out so I made this out of a AVG helmet bag and I just cut two pieces out roughly the same got some elastic some sticky elastic there that was off uh, another chin mount that was no good and that reduced the, the the quality it reduced the wind noise in the helmet dr dramatically so if you want to make one of these I am going to make a video on how to make one and which is much simpler whereas you don't need this sticky elastic so stick around subscribe if you're not already and don't forget to hit the notification bell because there is a video of how to make one of these and it is relatively simple you just need a simple little sewing kit and that's it so the other things to look out for is air vents you need to close all the air vents in the helmet so that includes the top ones and the bottom ones and the one that's inside here inside the chin and then you need to make sure that your your visor is sealed so there's no hissing or whistling as you're driving riding down the road you may have noticed on the back of my helmet I have got a battery pack now this is just velcroed on with the cable going on through these clips what are 3d printed and this is so that when I'm 
riding I can actually open my helmet like that and have a chin mounted GoPro and that seems to work the best for me so now we've switched over to my DJI Osmo guys so the audio might sound a little different so I'll try and make, make it match but anyway the next thing that you need to do is you need to go into your GoPro settings and if you click on that at the bottom and then go into edit your profile then what you need to do is scroll down to the Pro Tune area yeah so now you need to scroll down until you see raw audio and click it on low basically what this does is it the GoPro itself will actually uh, try pick up every sound through all the microphones on the on the GoPro it's, itself and actually uh, mix it all up and process it into one file whereas this will create four separate files for each of the microphones and I'll come to, I'll come to show you how that looks when we uh, when we go into uh, the editing software so that's what you need and you have that on low so then you just go back and then that's saved for next time right guys so we are in my editing software that I use and this is DaVinci Resolve uh, I'm not sure what version it is I think it's 17 or something now this is free software that you can get offline offline it's uh, off a website called uh, blackmagicdesign.com and all you need to do is go on here and hit the download button and you want to go to that one there the studio version is not free it's about 500 pound to buy but this one here the davinci resolve 17 is totally free so you just click downloads for windows and uh, there you go and you will end up with the same version that i have which is here now i do highly recommend that you you use this software because it is absolutely brilliant you have all these uh, node sections and things that you can add in and you can build up any sort of animation in here you also have uh, an audio suite in here which is for editing your audio in fact we're going to look at that in a minute so what we need to do is bring in to uh davinci the tracks that we're going to be editing from the gopro now this is my rivington trip and this is all the files off the GoPro. Now you will see that there's quite a lot here. And uh, basically this one at the top, that's the video. In fact, we'll drag that in right now. Put that there. Get rid of that. And then underneath it, you will see a WAV file, which is an audio file. Now we'll bring that in. Now you will notice that there's four tracks here. And that's because these are all the uh, the speakers, the microphones, should I say, on the GoPro. So the top track here on Audio 1 is what came in with the video. Now that is the standard uh, audio that is recorded in the GoPro while it's recording the video. But then the four tracks underneath from that file, which is the WAV file, is... Uh, GoPro's very it's the raw audio so it's had very little done to it so basically the top track is what GoPro thinks you want to hear and then these other tracks are what GoPro is actually hearing so what we can do is we'll just go here and we'll test sample a little area this is where I uh, in fact what we'll do here is we'll just crop it down into a very small area because this is what we're going to be editing this little bit here so what we'll do is we'll play the standard with this just mutes them so then we'll just play the the standard clip that up so less noise in here that's actually really loud so let's just reduce that down let's clip that up so less noise in here but i have got my blooming music going really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging in fact I know what I can do so there you can hear actually a bit of wind noise in the background so let's just switch over to this these two man these two tracks here and we'll see what that sounds like let's clip that up so less noise in here but I have got my blooming music going 
really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging. So you can see there that my voice is a little softer. It's not as harsh as it is it in the audio track. So that's what we're going to be editing here is these two. So what we need to do is delete that top track. Uh, delete this track. These are redundant. We don't need these. And then what we're going to do here is we need to add some effects to this so the first thing that i like to do is go into the fairlight channel right so now we're in the fairlight tab here what we need to do is just go into the audio dynamic so we'll just start on uh, the first one and we're going to add a limiter now as you can see here what that's going to do is give it a it's going to cut the top of the audio off to make it more pleasing. Clip that up so less noise in here. But I have got my blooming music going. Really could do with turning that off. Right, so let's just mute that track because we don't want to listen to that. We want to just listen to this one. Let's clip that up so less noise in here. But I have got my blooming music going. Really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging. In fact, I know what I can do. Right, so as you can tell then, it sort of made it a little softer and not as harsh at the top. But what we noticed is that because we've cut the top off, that it's actually made it a bit more quiet. And we're always aiming for in between 10, minus 10 and minus 5 decibels. That's where we're aiming for. Really, I'd want it near a 10. That's where I always aim for. So what we do here is we play it back again. Are up so less noise in here. And look, we're actually a lot lower, so we use the game fun. Really could do with turning that. Just to boost it up a little bit more. In fact, I know what I can do. There, I think that's perfect there. So let's stop that. Now what we can do is add a compressor, and we'll see how that affects it. So if we just go back again. Let's clip that up so less noise in here. But I have got my blooming music going. Really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging. We just set that wherever it sounds right, where it sounds different or sounds better, should I say. So now this might have made it a little bit quieter, which it has. I've got my blooming music going. Really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging. Right, so we're back to where we were. About time what I can do. So then what we need to do is we need to do that again on this track as well. And that is in this one, A2. Down. Let's clip that up so less noise in here. But I have got my blooming music going. There we go. I reckon that's about that. Off while I'm vlogging. In fact, I know what I can do. So there you go. That's the, the uh, EQ. Now we can go one step further with this. We can go back into here. You can actually do this in the Fairlight tab, but I always do it in editing. And if you go to the audio effects down here and then go onto this. And then what I do is I just bring that down because that's some that sometimes brings out all the uh, uh, the wind noise is this vocal channel. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of that. Come back to it, play it. Let's clip that up so less noise in here. But I have got my blooming music going. Really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging. You can really tell. In fact, I know what I can do. That there is that low hum in the bottom of it. So then we need to do that on both of these tracks now. EQ, we'll just bring that down to there. Clip that up so less noise in here. But I have got my blooming music going. Really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging. So you can see there that you can still hear the engine noise of the bike, and you can really pick up my voice. And the vo the vocals are a lot softer and a lot nicer to hear. It just helps a lot, does having really good audio Clip that up so in your in here. But I have got my videos. Music going. 
really could do with turning that off while I'm vlogging. And that's just a little sample there, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video.